Hello, today we're going to be making potting compost for carrots. As you can see I've lined the batter with some uh, black plastic. These are just some slates I'm holding it in place with until I get the weight of some compost in there. And this is the riddle I'm going to be using because as you know carrots don't like to eat any obstructions as they grow otherwise the roots will fork. And I guess the same applies to parsnips if you've grown parsnips so anything with a long pointed root um, that you don't want to fork you need a mix that doesn't have any uh, any stones in it for example or, or anything that would uh, would prevent the carrot getting a long straight root down in the pot okay this is my uh, homemade compost this is what I've been uh, overwintering on the raised beds. Um, it's a mixture of uh, topsoil from molehills, um, spent compost, leaves and grass and seaweed. Okay, a lot's in there, but there are some bits in there that would uh, would affect the growth of the carrot. So uh, we're going to put this through the riddle to start with. I should empty that out now, but I've started doing this video and I've nowhere to empty it, so that's staying in till we finished. Okay, now while I'm doing this, and you see what I'm going to add next, you might think, well, what about quantities? What quantity are you using? Well, I'll tell you what quantity I'm using. I'm using whatever I've got. <laughs> so if I've got a lot of one thing, that's what I'm using. If I haven't got much of another thing, that's what I'm using. Okay, so they're the solids. You can actually see that this is a clay soil. Um, um, but anyway, we've got those out. You can see this is a lot finer than it was and now I can take these slates out Because the black plastic is held in place by the weight of the um, Compost that I've just put in there Okay, right Okay, we've emptied, we've emptied the riddle off, we've got rid of the uh, rubbish and now we're going to add this. This is sand that I've collected locally and it's very, very fine, very fine. We'll put it through this riddle and I'll be surprised if the riddle brings anything out of it. Okay, and I think if you see any other carrot growing videos on YouTube you'll know that there is sand involved. Uh, it just lightens up the mixture. Look at that. I've just lifted it right through that mix. Just lifted it straight up. So that's really fine. Okay. And last but not least, some coca koi. Okay. So what we're after is, is an open mixture, um, no solids. Uh, no big solids that is, um, with something in it uh, that the carrots can actually take up and it'll make them grow and they'll get that from the compost mixture that I put in first and this coir and, um, and the sand will just keep it as an open structure and add a bit of bulk to it, okay. And that looks okay for me, so... I 
And as you can see, this is this is useful. It'll go on the garden. It'll go somewhere. Won't be wasted. Okay, we now uh, want to mix this up. This is the fun part. Yeah, this is definitely the fun part. This is where you get your hands in it and you pull the colours through. How good is that? <laughs> How good is that? Okay. So you can see the colours, you can see the mixing going on. You can see... The white of the sand and the brown of the koi and the dark brown to black of the compost all mixing in. And it's a, a lovely grey mild white colour now. And honest, look at it. We should be able to grow carrots in that. Now then, we're not growing show carrots. Show carrots take a bit more effort. Um, you'd probably have a box and you'd probably dib a rolls and you'd fill it with a mix and all that rigmarole that goes with show carrots, but these are just eating carrots. These are carrots that will finish up in the kitchen, they're going in the pot. Okay, and they should grow in that. Um, so, within the next day or two, we'll sow some carrots. We've got our compost. In the next day or two, we'll sow some carrots. This is homegrown veg. Signing off.